Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with another segment of the May Mayhem 2020 Junk Journal Challenge. Today we are going to go ahead and fold our papers and get them ready to be signatures for our beautiful French Fashionista Junk Journal that we are working on. And so I have my cover, yay! And we are going to go ahead and pick out our pages. So I've kind of picked out pages and I think I'm going to do two signatures, two signatures. Um, so let's go ahead and get an idea. Now I have gone ahead and I have added the brown paper from the at the beach pages digital kit and some of them came through like this printed but this didn't so I put it through a second time so you'll see some of my pages will have extra color but I liked it better than not having color at all so that one did it <laughs> that one I was like, well, I'm not going to do it and then have this all dark in that light. I can go ahead and put something there. So this is the 1919 French Fashionista digital kit pages. And then with the at the beach brown page on the other side. And here is the large tags, but we can also use them in the journal. So you can see I've got several of these pages. Okay, so we'll come back to those. I'm gonna have to be a little bit strategic with those. Um, I also, okay, so I have some of those paint palettes that we've been using. So I'm gonna want one of those and we're just gonna fold those in half. But I want one of those for each of the journals because I like the sound. I hope that didn't bother you. <laughs> I like the sound of them. So I want to welcome you to my channel. I'm Julie. I'm the CEO and Queen Creator here at Dear Julie Julie and also Dear Julie Julie DIY. Here on this channel, it's mostly paper. It's paper crafting mostly junk journals so if you like that sort of thing go ahead subscribe hit the notification button and youtube might tell you when i upload a new video but just in case we do have a schedule now 10 30 in the uh, morning pacific standard time is our challenge and other videos and right now while we're home we have a beginner series at four o'clock Pacific Standard Time. It's our happy hour. And um, I had somebody message me and tell me that that it was their happy hour. So I was like, well, that's really a great thing to call it. So we're going to call it Beginner Series Happy Hour. And that is each weekday in the afternoon. So I hope that you'll be able to possibly join us there. And let's go ahead and get right into this. So I have some ledger paper that I've avocado dyed. It just seemed perfect with this, um, with this journal. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out... And I want to make sure one more time that these papers are the right fit. These are from Dollar Tree. I told you a couple times. And yeah, they're just... Okay. Well, we will be adding lace to this one. So they're just a teeny tiny too big but that's okay um it's better than being too small so this is our this is what we're using as our our main paper and um so we can go ahead and use one of those as our measurement i'm going to go ahead and and make this have a flap okay so we'll just go ahead and 
give it a flap on each side. This uh, ledger paper was given to me. So I think this one might be good to go this way because then on this side you get that whole that whole page. Okay, so I'm gonna do my flap that way. So there's that one, and here's another one. So we'll do the second one the same. So one for each signature. Is kind of the way I'm gonna do it this time. I'll flap in and flap out. Okay, so there's those two. We can save these for another journal. Okay, so we have our double tuck. That's um, a special specialty wrapping paper, and then we have a folded up specialty wrapping paper. So that gives us one for each. These are our collaged pages, and I think I'm going to use these for the covers of the signatures. So in just inside the journal that. These will be the covers inside, and so there's one for each. We have an extra wrapping paper for each. We have pattern paper instruction pages, one for each. Then I, um, while we were, <laughs> while we had a video on, I went ahead and I dry deck podge a napkin. I cut this piece in half and have it on the outside of each of one of those pages. And on this one, it's on the inside of the page. So it'll show up like, like this and like that. And I thought that would be kind of cool. So one of those for each of the journals. We have an envelope for each one of the journals and then let's see now we have this and we're gonna go ahead and make one of these for the second journal and I just happen to have the piece that we had cut off so We've got that. We're going to go ahead and add, we're going to make our own washi tape. We're going to add double-sided tape to the back. Okay, so just bring your double-sided tape along that piece. And grab yourself a, another piece of this. And on this one, I'm going to come in a little bit. Okay. And then we'll cut this edge off. And we'll save that. Okay. And then we can add something from the... This is our, our washi tape we've been using, and I want to grab the other yellow, the other large piece that has some yellow on it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab around this. And this washi tape is from Cavallini and Company, and I have it linked in my description box down below. It is one of my first affiliate links, so that means that if you order it through that link, I do get a little portion, but it doesn't cost you any extra. It just kind of makes a little donation to my channel, which is would be really kind of cool. 
Ooh, I'm liking that. I might have to come back and do that. But there's one page for each. Okay. Page for each. And then I had pulled out this stamp and I thought we could go ahead and stamp on one of the coffee dyed pages for each. So there is my stamp. And here's my stamp pad. Okay, we go in that direction. And what I did was I I had already creased the paper. So I went a little bit where most of it was on the right side. Okay. Make sure we get good ink on the center. I should have put stuff underneath this, but I didn't. And then this one, I'm going to put most of it on the left side. So I have quite a collection of rubber stamps. I'm going to go ahead and stamp off. And use all your images. <laughs> okay. So we get just that faint. So there's one of those for each of each of the signatures. Okay. So um, let's see. I have one extra. We'll see if we need more than that. I'm going to put this over here. Um, I also have this came from a journal that I had. So I have this journal that I had picked up or possibly, oh, nope, Goodwill, 49 cents. I got this for 49 cents and I will be able to make a journal out of this as well, out of the cover. Um, and I have amazing papers that are going to match this. So someday. So anyway, it is sewn. So that is, you can see down here, it is sewn. I love it when I can find a sewn journal like that because then I can take out the stitching and have side-by-side -side pages for, for a journal. So I have several side-by-side -side pages here. And what I'm going to want to do is... go ahead and grab out a page from my my book that I'm using which was three martini lunch we can get a better page okay and since this was the page that came out of the journal this is the size that we should be having our pages be so let's see how we're we're perfect on the top to bottom on these and look at there we are we are fine going that way so I'm, I can use I can use this for my measuring okay I'm gonna measure and let's see okay come Okay, so just just above the the line there. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna cut these. We won't be able to cut them all at the same time with this cutter. So let's see. We've got one, two, three, four. We should probably just do two at a time. Two. Two. And this is going to give us wonderful lined paper for, for our journal. Two. Two. Three. 
and two. Okay. And by not adding anything to these, just cutting them and put, putting them in, possibly stamping or stenciling on them, um, they won't really add bulk to the journal. And um, so that is a very, very good thing. We're going to go ahead and slide out our little measure here. And I'm going to measure. So I'm going to line that up. And we are at five and seven eighths. <laughs> Five and seven eighths. Okay. And now we're going to have a whole bunch of these strips. Oh. And then what are we this direction? I think we're eight and seven eighths this direction. Eight. No. Yeah. Eight and seven eighths in this direction. So this is kind of an odd size book. that I'm making, but, um, and I have, I have more of the three martini lunch. <laughs> when I find a book that I like, I, I, I buy them. And, um, anyway, they, they were, they were on sale. So that's always a good thing. So we're going to go eight and seven eighths. Five and seven eighths. Okay, and this is going to give me quite a few pages, yay. For my, my signatures. And I like my lined papers. I like to, there to be a few together and um, so like if I do graph paper then I usually like to have a few graph paper together if I do lined paper then I like a few lined papers together so if I'm writing a story or a um, or doing a project it can all be together and so there we go and one more so do you use lined paper in your journals and do you like to bunch them together I also I love to use uh graph paper and I'm, I've got that other little journal around here somewhere that was my dad's and so we're going to grab a few pages out of that while we're thinking about it so that's this one remember this is the one with his drawings in it and um, so there we go look at there and we'll grab our X-Acto knife. Our X-Acto knife is right here somewhere. I didn't put it away correctly. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and Cut the, cut the strings out. So, um, <laughs> journal, used journals are plentiful. People give them as gifts all the time and, or they buy them and they don't use them. 
and um, so you can find them at yard sales and at the Goodwill and thrift stores and the other thing that I always tell everybody is tell people what you're looking for. If you're looking for paper stuff, tell people you're looking for paper stuff. If you're looking for doilies and yarns and trims, tell people. Lots of people are going through stuff, especially right now. But um, I had, I mentioned this and... For the Reader's Digest, and people, the you know, people were, I don't have one, and and I said, well, you know, put it out there that you're looking for for a Reader's Digest, and and we had people come back and say that they they asked their friends, and they got some. So, you know, don't be don't be afraid to put it out there that you're looking for them that's that was the last one of that so um you know we could go ahead and we could have a short paper also so we'll go ahead and grab one of the short papers for each one as well so okay so now we also have uh, the parchment paper that we've been using in these journals. And so these are going to fit, these are going to fit in there. Okay, so that is already cut. So those will fit just perfect fine. Um, let's go ahead and fold the two that we, that we cut short. Okay, so that they're, they're ready. Okay, so these are the two we cut short. Okay, so there's one of those for each. And then these parchment papers, eight and a half by 11, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn them into a pocket. So um, we'll go ahead, use one of these as our measurement down and find the bottom fold it up okay line it up to your edge really really carefully and then fold your paper over okay and now you've got a parchment pocket page And I have been using this parchment in this journal, so this is a great thing to add. We'll do one for each, and that gives us a pocket in each. And I like pockets, and I cannot lie, so if I can make a pocket, I'm probably going to. Okay. Make sure that it's straight. Pull it over. There we go. And fold it over. Okay, and I like to have a variety of sizes of pages. Okay, so next we have our large. Um, this matches what we used in the inside cover and of course I like to have a want <laughs> I want to cut this um, and you know what we can measure this because what was it um, 11 so these were Five and five eighths, so that's no five and seven eighths, fourteen sixteenths, fourteen seven eighths. So 
Oh well, let's go ahead. We'll open it up. That's going to be easier. Sorry. I, my brain would not calculate. Calculate? Calculate? Calculate. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to cut this at 11 and a half inches. That will be inside that amount for sure. And um, that way, even if it ends up closer to the inside of one of the journals, it we won't have creep from that. Okay, and then we're going to go, and I think I want little roses rather than big roses as my background. So the page is going to be here. So that is at eight and seven eighths. I'm just going to go ahead and make a mark. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and fold this up. So there's my mark. Okay. And that's quite a pocket. I don't think we need a pocket quite that big. So what we're going to do is come over here and we'll cut some of this off and it, it can become tags. Okay. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Always, always check. Okay. I had a, I had a different mark. There's my mark. That's that's perfect pocket. This mark is a perfect pocket. Okay. So there. Make sure that we're nice and straight. Okay. And that gives us a wonderful pocket. Okay, and then we can go ahead and fold it this way or the other way. And we have a pocket, a strong pocket. I like to use a couple of cardstock pages because they give you a really strong and sturdy pocket. So we're going to do this again. We're going to cut it to... 11 and a half. And remember, it's because I have an odd size book or journal that we are using. Then I'm going to check for my roses. There's my roses. This might end up. I think I turned it. Oh, good. We're inside. We're inside that amount. Okay. Let's check this. And you saw we can use those little pieces, so I'm not I'm not worried that I'm I'm cutting off these pieces because we'll be able to use those. I want this to be my background page where the smaller roses are. And so we're going to mark it again at page size, which on this one is eight and seven eighths. And then we'll do the folding again. Find the mark. There it is. Okay. Find the mark. Line it up really good. Fold it down. Fold it across. Okay, that gives us an amazing, amazing. Okay. 
I love this double-sided paper, too. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so let's check this. Did this one end up... Yeah, it is a little bit smaller. I'm going to cut this just a little so it doesn't end up in there and causing creep. Creep is as you put pages together inside of each other they um, start to creep out the edge and so it's called creep because it creeps like it's creep creepy crawly okay up over the pocket there we go Okay, there we go. So we've got our two pockets. We've got all these pages. And we can also use from the book. couple of the pages if you wanted to. Okay. Aha. martini lunch there we go and I did start reading it I don't know if I'm gonna read the book but I did start <laughs> okay so this is quite a stack of papers we have here and we still have that's a lot of paper a lot of paper we got right there okay we still have our ladies Okay, so let's go ahead and go through there. Okay, so one of the things I know is I have this one that has that in color. And then I have the triple tag page. And so I am going to go ahead and fold this. Okay, so this one's going to get folded like that. And then this one is going to get folded in like this. We're going to cut the edge, or you can rip it. Okay, so what I'm saying is I want to have, since these are larger images... I want one of these will go in one signature. The other one of these will go in the other. So I've cut this down so that it will fold to the inside of this page. Okay. There and there. So this will go inside the journal like this. This will be a flip out. And we'll have this page here. Okay, so that's for one signature. This is for the other. Okay, now we're going to go with this one. Wait a minute. Make sure I, make sure I have this figured out correctly. Okay, so we're going to take this one and we're going to go ahead and we're going to rip this her here. Okay. 
you can cut it. Then we're going to go ahead and fold her in. Fold her in. Sorry. And this fold for the fold in one, the one that's coming in it should be like right on the line. If not, having a little bit of the line to the other side. Okay, and then this one should also be right on the line. Trying to give as much room to that center, the center one as you can. Okay, so this one will be like this. This one will fold in. We need to, <laughs> I knew it. I'm just gonna rip another. Just like that. Okay, so this one now will go here. So we have a triple fold in each of those. And then we are going to look okay, so this one has she's on this side. Okay, so we'll put her with that. Okay, now we have, this one has a pair, so I'm going to put that pair here, because we already have a pair, and I'm going to put these two hat ladies here. <laughs> I know, it's, uh, and you don't have to go this far like I'm doing, you don't, you, you don't. Okay, so next I have... A double collage page okay so we have the collage page and I think we have another double collage page down here okay so here's a double collage page Fold both of those in half. So that will give us a double collage page for each, each one. And they're different. Okay. We'll put that one on that side and this one on this side. And then we have one of these for each. And we're going to put this one here. And we'll put this one here. Okay, and then I have some extra brown papers that I, I printed and we might use those here. We might use those in the Reader's Digest journal that we're making. Okay, so then I have this page, which is a little different. I have a collage page and I have the, these three ladies and I have these two. Okay. Um, so the way this one goes is you would probably go ahead, put it in like this. And 
and fold it. And then on this side, you could do a, a flip. Okay, so she could be standing here by herself. It's kind of funny because that's that's her arm, but it it's going to be okay because it looks like it's her arm. Even I mean, unless you look real close, okay. Um, so that gives you this one, and then this one has her in it also, and it so it can go here, and then if you just find yourself needing another page, you have these I have these left okay so for these I'm thinking these could go in the center of the signature and um, so yeah for both of those so that gives me that stack this gives me this stack and um, We'll go ahead and stack our pages. These can go up here. <laughs> okay, so that's one pile. This is another pile. So you get one of those. You get one of these. You get one of those. You get one of these. This is just how I'm doing this. Um, now inside, I will not do them in the same order. Um, and these are going to have a lot of pages, okay? But we have a lot of writing pages. One, two, one for you, and one for you. One for you, one for you. And the cool thing is, is almost all of our um, pieces are, are taken care of. So this journal, once we get it put together, it's going to go together very, very quickly. Okay, so how many pages does that give us? That's a lot. <laughs> One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I'm eight, yeah. Envelope. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woo! Twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's like way too many. <laughs> so, what to do? I don't want to do another um, collage for a center. Oh, I know what I can do. Okay, I think I have one more. I do. I have one of these. Okay. So we can make this be our other, <laughs> our other cover to a signature. And you're like, well, what is that? What's the difference? And, um, there is a difference because 27 pages is going to do that in your book. But if you take your 54 pages and divide them by three, then you get 18 pages, three things of 18 pages, and they will be three thinner rather than two like this. You'll have three and your book should be maybe <laughs> um, not as, uh, 
No, wrong one. I want 11 and a half, right? 11 and a half, 11 and a half. Seven eighths, eight and seven eighths. Like a big pocket. Okay, and I like the flowery side, so we'll go like that. Okay, so this is gonna be. I'm gonna make things confusing. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. No, that's just the way it's going to happen. Okay. So let's... Okay, there's that. So this is going to be the center signature. And we'll... We'll collage on the cover of this and make it similar, but I don't want to. I don't want to take the time to make another collage page right now, so we'll just go with this. And this gets this uses up this page, so that's good. Okay, so um, <sighs> okay. So we'll take, like from each one, we'll take every other thing, sort of. Okay, we're going to leave the ledger paper in the front and the back. And we'll go ahead and put this in this one. So this one will have... One. And we'll take the extra one out of here and this one will have two, okay? And okay, so that's taken care of. So sewing paper here. Paris here. We already have an envelope in this one, so envelope and envelope is going to be fine. So let's take this one out of this one. Okay, envelope. We'll let this one keep its stamped paper and this one keep it stamped paper so now we're at well let's give the okay so that one gets three this one will get four okay so we're going to take one of the two so this one will have four of the lined paper, these will each have three. This one will have two of the large grid papers. These will each have a large and a small. These will each have their pocket. We can add that other page from the from this okay so we each have one of those okay so we're good on that now the other thing that I have over here is I have this piece of this paper left And 
I'm just going to make it be a flip out page. So there's that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these pages that we've chosen inside its cover, signature cover. There we go. So there's one. And there's two. If I can find another parchment paper, I'll put that in here too. And there's three. Okay. So see what we've got so far. Okay. That looks much better. Okay. Okay. Now the real fun. Okay, so one is going to get this for its center. One is going to get this for its center. Oh, we have that collage page. <laughs> okay, so we have our collage page for the third one's center. Okay. Um, we have a triple. Okay. The triple thread right here. And we'll, I was going to say we'll cut this one, but no, we'll rip it. Okay. Make it like the other ones, right? There we go. Okay. So that gives us that. So let's find our there's that. So this one gets that and that. And this one gets this and this one okay so now let's come down here this one gets this and this and that okay so they each have a big hat okay collage pages collage page collage page collage page, strange page, okay, this one I think had a pair, Pair, pair there. Okay. Okay. So that is that is that is how we're gonna do it. Okay. So now we gotta figure out who goes in what as far as. Okay. Okay. So this one has this lady. And so I think this is going to be a good one. Put those guys in there. 
move it over there. And then this one has hers, so we're going to put this batch in there. And this one, this batch will go in this one. Okay? Okay, so you're going to be the center signature, so we can go ahead and fold you in half. Okay. And then this one, this is going to be the center of the signature, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it down. Okay, so we'll cut off the edges. cut the top and the bottom. Okay, so we'll do that to both of the our inside cover or our center of our signature and we have the one more hi 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 so this is how we go or how I go about choosing my pages um, and trying to space out the different kinds of pages and as you can see um, you know I just I had a lot of pages and I I do want the journal to be be full and of course we still have all that stuff in the box over there to put in the journal as well so I'm sitting here thinking which what pages could I take out uh, none <laughs> I like them all so so what do you do when you have too many pages <laughs> okay and you could you don't have to fold this in half you could fold it at an odd, at an odd um, place and have a pocket. Um, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and obviously fold it in the middle. So now we'll go ahead and start putting our pages together. Okay, so before we start putting these together, we need to go through our box of things that we already make made. sure we don't have any full pages in here we have lots of things that go on pages oh look at flip flop and flip flop we have our large index cards and okay so those are all things we need to add to pages but i was like uh oh we need to make sure so because the way that we've been doing this journal Okay, so since she has the feather 
we're going to put her not in this one with the feather. So we'll put her in this um, back one. And because that's in there, I think we'll take out the parchment paper from here and add that in here. And then we'll take the parchment paper out of this one. We'll save it for something else. And we're going to put this one in here. Okay, so... I think we've covered all our bases, so let's go ahead and put these in order. So we know that this is going to be the center of our signature here, the little page for this one. Okay, so the little page. And so that's gonna be the center. Let's go ahead and move that over. Okay, just trying to keep the same. See, we even did insides for these. So we have flip flops with inserts. I like that very much. Um, okay, let's put these pages over here. I'm thinking a. Okay, we're going to want a bigger page for that. Okay, so here we have our one, our single one. There's that. I like the idea of this having the waterfall effect. Oh yeah, we need to, oops, we need to be adding some of these. So I think we'll put this, her, on here. Okay, so it'll go her, then those, and then maybe we can add this. To this wallpaper page like this and it can be a large pocket for one of those file index so we'll have that that flips out we'll have this we'll have the file index in it we have this so this could have do we have something with interest that is small we have this And four. I kind of like these two together. Yeah, I think we'll go with those two together. Okay. And we've got this. So let's go ahead and grab. Her like that. Noisy paper. Okay, so we open. We have that. It opens up to that. Or we could turn this. Yeah, I'm going to turn that. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so there's that. It opens up to that. Index, little page, little page. This, we have her. Um, I think we'll go ahead. Add a double tuck there, possibly. There's that. Okay, 
Okay, so two pages. And so we have graph paper. Yeah, I think we'll go graph paper here. And noisy paper. So we still have this one to add and then the center. Okay, so I'm thinking, what if we do that like that? Yeah. Gives us some color right there in the middle. Okay, we are gonna have to do some cutting down of some pages. And this is our center signature. So see, I don't know how we ended up here. What did we end up with in the... Okay, so I don't want that. I'll do... Ooh, I like that. Okay, I think we'll go with... I think we'll go here. We have the yellow. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that is number number one. Open it up to her. You got a flip out. These two are going to be put together, and you'll be able to have the large index file in there. We have this. We have a pocket. Small. This noisy paper. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking that needs to go on something a little more substantial, like that. Okay. I just think it needs to go, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, and I think rather than, yeah, that's, that's how we're doing it. Okay. <laughs> um. Noisy paper, we have her, we have a single. Okay, so we've got lots of stuff in here, and this will be the center of our signature. Okay, I love it. I love it. How many pages is that? And we're count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, we don't need to count that. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, <laughs> eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so that that's twenty. That's a lot. So we'll see how how we do when we get these all together. So next we have this one, okay? And we're gonna want to open this one up and have something pretty cool, I think. This is our center. We're gonna put that aside. Um, she might be kinda cool to have right in the front, or we could put <coughs> a neat, excuse me, um, we're going to have, okay, okay, let's try maybe this with this, okay, so this will be our opening, and I'm thinking one of those large tags here, um, that we made and so that will be be our opening unless we put a large tag on the front it's just something we could do okay so let's go ahead and go with this one and 
maybe a couple of the grid papers because we had two for this one we had uh, two grid and you know what let's do lined paper first and then grid paper because I think we have two double yeah we have two double lines for this one and the cool thing about the lined paper and the grid paper <clears throat> is we're not going to do anything probably to them except to add um, except to add um, and we'll go with that. Yeah, like that. Stenciling, probably, and that kind of of stuff. Stenciling, maybe. Um, okay, so there's that. Now we can go ahead and bring in, if we need it, we do have this one. If we need some some more color in here. Okay, thinking there's that. there. Maybe this here instead of there. Okay, so we also have our flip-flop here. Now what's interesting is that we made the flip-flop, but we could, we could go ahead and it could connect to our center collage page. Okay, and I'm gonna I am gonna do that because then this can all connect. We could put a pocket here, um, a large pocket up there if we want to. This can become the file index pocket for this particular part of the journal. I love, love that. Okay, so um, we have this flip out and I think it's gonna be perfect right here. So you see kind of going through and getting like this waterfall effect, you're gonna go ahead and open this up and you're gonna have this plain paper, the red paper, a yellow paper, lined paper. Just a variety, a variety. And then we're gonna go, okay, we may, we may not need this. What else do we have? Oh, we still have our graph paper. So we have our lined paper and our lined paper. So somewhere in between, We'll add our graph paper. Oh, I don't want to close that off. Like that. Like that. And here we can probably put one of those tags also, and it can be a pocket. So I am usually thinking ahead as to what I'm going to do with um, with what I've what I've got, sort of. But I want kind of an even mix of this mustardy color that we're using, and see, I don't want too much little, but I do like to have the little. Okay, so. We go here. Let's go ahead and do this just like that. Okay, so that gives us number two, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18. Technically, we have 19. We're going to go ahead and put some of these together, but technically, we have 19 in that one. And we're going to do this one really quick. And we, I think we want her as you open up, maybe. What did we do in that first one? You opened to that one. Okay. So I really, I really like her. Um, oh, she goes like this, you guys. Unless we turn her, no matter what she goes, she's on that side. So there you go. Okay, and this is our this is our inside page, our middle signature. Okay, so what do we have that we can use on our third signature here that we and we have a collage on the front, so we don't need a collage. Ooh, we can use her. Okay, so let's use her with Mm, with this background, okay? Maybe this one, actually. Okay, there we go. Her with that background. And maybe her page of graph paper. Or the, the, in, the uh, ledger paper. Don't we have a ledger paper in this one? Yeah. It's kind of very similar to what we did in the front. Okay, so. So we'll go with this building block right here or waterfall. So we'll do her and then that and then that. And then you might want to turn on this. And. Okay, we already had, we just did a pocket. So let's do a, another girl with our noisy paper. Maybe, maybe the collage. Yeah, collage. Okay, and pocket. And envelope. Okay, so this time the... Do it like this so the double tuck will be on this side so you can do a double tuck in your book like this and have it set up for it or you can do it ahead of time like we did in the other um, the other journal so I'm gonna put the duet here let's see wait a minute we'll see which one's gonna, yeah, between these two. Yeah, kinda like that. Okay, you can still see her face peeking out. We might even cut our envelope a little more so you see more of her face. Okay, so there's that. Um, okay, so for color so we have that I love love the way that turned out with the um, with that there okay and oh we need some lined paper maybe This is the book page, Three Martini Lunch. This is the sewing pattern page. And what do we have left? We have our stamped page. Okay, so we just did the girls, Paris. Okay, we can go ahead and turn this inside out. Okay. 
Okay, and then they'll have a stamped and a stamped. And her other writing pages. We still have her. She might look kind of cool. Like she's or yeah I like that okay so we have this and then we have the yellow look here I love that and we'll go ahead and add graph paper okay so we have a variety of sizes of paper in this one as well and we do need a center right so we're going with writing paper and our center. Okay. Okay, so how does this one go? It goes here, open, here with the flip, here with the pocket. Kind of like that better. I like I like this here. I like those. I think we'll go. Oh, let's wait a minute. Yeah, we'll go with our grid paper here. Okay, so grid paper, pocket, flip, double tuck actually. There's this I love this um, this paper that it's already taken care of we have hardly any white space this time and I even even these mistakes but they turn out really good look at it, it printed right right where it's supposed to so that was cool I do love my new printer okay so there's that and then there's this and we can go ahead and add you know, we can add a piece to the outside of this page and make it, um, you know, to make it bigger and more substantial. I mean, there's going to be lots of things. You can add this and tuck this in. So it's kind of, it will be like kind, kind of like hidden uh, journaling space. But I really, really like this. So how many pages do we have here? We have one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I think I counted the that one paper so I think it's right around 20 so I think we're like at 60 pages so like a hundred and eighty pages for this journal it feels like it's gonna fit in there now remember we have so much stuff to add but you know crunched we're good um so here we go it does fit it does fit and it would make a beautiful journal just like that so I hope you'll come back we will be going ahead and adding the pages in and adding the ephemera that we have made and um, I'm pretty excited about that we don't have very many more of the items that we need to make for this journal um, but I'm, I, I'm pretty excited. I think this is going to be a beautiful journal. And, of course, when it's finished, it will be available in the Etsy shop. And, um, yeah, so there you go. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and the notification bell so you'll know when we upload a video. Remember, we do have the schedule, 1030 in the morning Pacific time for 
the challenge and other videos and four o'clock weekdays for the beginner junk journal series while we are home. All digitals are still on sale while we're home for 50% off the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. And if you go and watch one of these videos up here, after you finish this video, YouTube really likes that and it helps my channel. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad you're here. If you're in the premiere, I'm waving. Hi. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.